Hi, welcome to Pirkei Havos with Rabbi Yona. We're in Chapter 5, Mishnah number 14. I apologize for what sounds like um, jackhammering in the background. There are four types of people that go to the base of Medrash, go to the study hall. Those that go and don't do, they have the reward of going. They do, but they don't go. They have the reward of doing. Somebody who goes and somebody who does, chassid, he's pious. Somebody who doesn't go is called wicked. So what does this mean? Says Rabbi Yonah. Now, when we say someone goes to the base medrash and he doesn't do, that doesn't mean that he doesn't do anything. We call Masha Shem base medrash. That doesn't Avenu Mekayim Mitzvahs. That doesn't mean we're not talking about somebody who goes to the base medrash and doesn't fulfill any of the commandments that he learns about. Shem Kain Rasha Gomer, because if so, he's totally wicked. Kain Rasha Basias Avedus Bilvad. A wicked person is not someone who only violates the negative prohibitions. Ki Gamha Nimna Malasos Amitzvahs Nikur Rasha. Even somebody who doesn't do the positive commandments is called a rasha, is called wicked. If he doesn't do positive commandments, and he doesn't do, and he violates the negative commandments, he is called wicked. It says in the Jerusalem Talmud, Somebody who learns Torah but doesn't fulfill what it says, It will, it will be better that he would be suffocated by his afterbirth when he was born, and that he would never come into the world. Strong words. Ach, perusha. So what does this mean? He was saying that here, holech ve'ena ose can't mean somebody who goes to the base medrash and doesn't fulfill anything that he learns, because such a person is called wicked. So here, what does it mean when we say holech ve'ena ose, that schar halicha b'yadu, that when he goes to the base medrash, but he doesn't do, he gets the reward of going. So she'ena chozer achreim lasosom. So it means he's the type of person that doesn't chase after mitzvos. He goes to the base of Medrash, but he doesn't chase after mitzvos. When the mitzvos come to him, he does them. Once in a while, he does the mitzvos when they happen to appear before him, but he doesn't set specific times to do them constantly. He's busy doing just whatever's going on in the world. He follows fads. He just does what everyone else does. You know, what everyone else, whatever society is doing, that's what he does. He doesn't, eh, mitzvahs come, yeah, people are doing mitzvahs, I'll also participate, why not? But he doesn't go after the mitzvahs, he doesn't set a set time to do the mitzvahs. Such a person, he's not wicked, and he gets merit for the mitzvahs that he does. Now, what's the next level? Somebody who does the mitzvahs but doesn't go to the base medrash, he has the reward for the actions that he does. This person, he does mitzvos, but he doesn't go to the base medrash to learn. He doesn't go to the study hall to learn all the details of the mitzvos and how to fulfill all of the mitzvos. He fulfills what he knows based on his limited knowledge. And he has reward for what he does. Now, if he would go to the study hall, he would learn a lot more about the commandments, and he would learn a lot more about how he can fulfill the commandments. So this person who does the mitzvos but doesn't learn... He also gets some level of reward, but it's not the best. What's the best? Someone who goes to the base medrash and does mitzvos. He runs after to fulfill the commandments. He's very specific and careful how he carries them out. With all of their details. And with all of the stringencies that come up, he able, is able to fulfill them. And he goes beyond the letter of the law. So the, obviously the best thing to do is to go to the study hall so a person can learn all of the details of the commandments and then to chase after the commandments to fulfill everything he learned in the study hall. The holy fellow also Russian now someone who doesn't go to the study hall and doesn't do mitzvahs, the mission concludes that he's wicked. He doesn't chase the mitzvahs vagam and even if if the mitzvahs happen to come to him uh, he doesn't do them even when he doesn't have to chase after them. Okay? And with that we learn the four different types of people regarding the, their attitude towards study and doing mitzvahs. And that was chapter 5, Mishnah 14. Wishing everyone a great day.